Hello everyone. The last session we discussed about the comparison between the transformer and induction. Why we compare in order to make the easy of analysis or it is very easy to draw the phase diagram. So in that we already discussed these things and we already drawn the equivalent circuit of the stator. In the equivalent circuit of the stator, the, the circuit is supplied by supply V1 and stator consisting of the resistance R1, stator reactance X1. This is the no load branch, it consisting of the core loss component. It is magnetizing leakage reactance. This is the induced EMF in the primary winding. And next, we will move on to the rotor circuit. So, in this rotor means, same thing, rotor is also consisting of the windings. We have windings is there. Whenever flux from the stator, flux is entering into the rotor, the EMF will be generated. So, that will be take it as the input. EMF generated always in E2, which is the EMF generated. And rotor winding consisting of the resistance is known as R2. Rotor winding have the leakage reactance X2. Okay. So we will give here we will write R2. R2 equal rotor winding resistance per phase. Rotor winding resistance per phase X2. Rotor leakage reactance leakage reactance x is always leakage reactance per phase but it is in running condition so this is during running condition next e2 e2 is simply the emf induced in rotor winding the EMF induced in rotor winding rotor winding for phase during running conditions these all are in the running conditions why these are running conditions E2 is there if it is E2 naught and X2 naught is there these all are at the standstill condition Okay. This is about the rotor equivalent circuit. Next. Now, we will move on to the complete equivalent circuit. We will move on to the complete equivalent circuit. That means, so we should combine stator circuit and the rotor circuit. Combine it together, we will get complete equivalent circuit. So, in the stator having resistance R1, reactance X1 and no load resistance R2, this is the X0 and it will generate the EMF E1, generate the EMF E1 and the secondary side is generate the EMF E2 and the rotor consisting of the resistance R2, reactance is X2, okay. Now here the most important thing is, so generally in the induced EMF, will produce the power of I2. The same amount of power is flowing in the stator winding that is the E2 dash. And the no load, the RT, so this is the R0, this is the X0. The, the current entering into here, we can take it as core loss component IC. The current entering into here, the magnetizing current magnetizing current and the combination of these core loss component and magnetizing component is known as the no load current the no load current so at this node the combination of no load current and primary winding current will be nothing but the current entering into the stator current entering into the stator 
and for the state r we are giving the input supply is the v1 input supply is the v1 so this is the complete equivalent circuit of the three phase induction motor so in this we will write we will write like this this is the i1 is nothing but it is combination of it is a vector i0 plus i2 dash i0 plus i2 dash what is i1 i1 is the primary current for phase primary not primary we can take it as primary winding is nothing but the state or current for phase it is combination of no load current and the i2 dash so what is i not no load current for phase no load current for phase i not is nothing but again combination of two currents that is ic current as well as i mu current what is ic here ic is core loss component core loss component what is i mu here i mu is magnetizing component magnetizing component core loss component is useful to calculate the core loss magnetize component is useful to supply flux so name itself it is a magnetizing that means it supply the flux okay so here the i2 dash is nothing but current flowing in current flowing in winding current flowing in primary winding state or winding right so here the i2 is name itself here the current in rotor winding current in rotor winding we can name it as for phase better to take for phase so these all are the for phase only so this is the complete equivalent circuit complete equivalent circuit so always keep in mind just the combination of no load current and uh, primary winding current will be equal to the state or current state or current so rotor have doesn't have such things okay and we can take the value we can write the value of i2 here we will write the value of i2 here this is a separate part this time i am taking this part here what is i2 there so i2 is nothing but the emf by impedance so here the i2 equal to induced emf is e2 and the impedance is r2 plus jx2 r2 plus jx2 here e2 is nothing but induced emf we can make it in the stand still form that is s into e2 not by r2 plus jx2 x2 also we can write s times of x2 not s times of x2 not okay we will write i2 by s so divide both numerator and denominator with s divide with s we already done these things with s okay then what we will get this s s will be cancelled e to not and remaining is r2 by s plus j into x to not j into x to not finally what we are doing here we have the r2 r2 can we write it as two combinations it is r2 plus r2 into 1 by s minus 1 this r2 by s will be converted r2 plus r2 into 1 by s minus 1 so this conversion is very much useful to go for the modifying this equivalent circuit go for the modifying the equivalent circuit okay a simple thing why we are doing this we should create we should create a load and the change in the load how it it will affect on the induced emf in the secondary 
induced EMF in the secondary. Okay, so the final R2 by S will be modified as R2 plus R2 into 1 by S minus 1. R2 into 1 by S minus 1. This is about the R2 by S. So these are the equivalent circuit currents and different different currents they what working of the currents and this is the complete equivalent circuit complete equivalent circuit so this is about the rotor equivalent circuit as well as the complete equivalent circuit so the next the modified of the complete equivalent circuit will be discussed in the next session okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you